I've stayed in this job for 12 years, which is longer than I ever stayed in a job in my life before. I'm satisfied with my work. I enjoy living in China. I edited a lot of interesting books, but over the past five years, or maybe five, six years, our focus has become much more on political works. So books like uh, Xi Jinping's Governance of China. And it's true that that presents a major challenge. It's not easy to take material that's been written for a Chinese audience and to turn it into something that's accessible to uh, an international, particularly a Western audience. Xi Jinping thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era is actually a structure. It's actually a whole, and all the different bits and pieces that all sound so complicated and are also difficult to understand as individual pieces actually fit together in a structure. The first being achieve the first goal, the second being deeper reform, the third being rule of law, and the next being party discipline. And then below that you have the five development concepts, open development, inclusive development, coordinated development, innovative development, and green development. Well, I think it's very timely. I think it's very fortunate that the Congress is taking place at the moment because it brings all the key people together in China and it will allow them to talk about uh, strategies and means of managing the problems that we face. I think the most important aspect of Chinese modernization is the distinction between China's modernization and the modernization that the Western powers went through. So China's modernization has to follow a different path. And that I think that the CPC is doing a good job in leading China along that path. It's a path that involves win-win cooperation with other people. It's a path that involves people-oriented development. It's about that inclusive development. It's about making sure that nobody gets left behind. It's about making sure that everybody moves forward and everybody shares in the fruits of development. There isn't any other country in the world that's actively looking forward 27 years and planning what the country is going to be looking like at that point. And that is an indication of the strength of China's system that they can do that. And I'd also like to do a bit more work presenting China. A lot of people are now active on social media like Twitter. A lot of Westerners like myself, who know China, who live in China, who respect and appreciate China, and who want to present China positively. Um, and uh, yeah, that's something else I'd like to do. So that write, rather than writing books, which have a relatively narrow audience, take similar messages to social media where we can access a lot more people.